Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A bridge cable is suspended from towers 80 meter apart. So the span is given as 80 meter and carries a load of 30 kN per meter on the entire span. Since the unit is kN per meter, it is uniformly distributed load. It is acting for the entire span. If the maximum sag is 8 meter, calculate the maximum and minimum tension in the cable. We know that if the cable is suspended on the same level, the maximum sag will be in the center that is given as 8 meter. Also, find the length of the cable. We can see this part later. First, let us find the reactions and then the maximum and minimum tension in the cable. Then, let us find the length of the cable. Let us find the vertical reactions Va and Vb. We know that in this cable, we have symmetrical loading. So, we can easily find the vertical reactions. To find the vertical reactions, we have to multiply the UDL with the distance 80 and then divide that by 2. When we do that, we are getting VA and VB which are 1200 kN. Now let us find the horizontal thrust H. To find H, I am going to take a moment about to see from the point A. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. The distance from C to A is 80 by 2 so that we will get 40. So VA into 40. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. The horizontal thrust is also acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it is also negative. For the horizontal thrust, it is the perpendicular distance, which is 8. Finally, for H, we will get 3000 kN. Alternatively, we can use this formula and find H. We have derived this in the previous video. Here W is 30, L is 80 and H is 8. In this way also we can get H. Now let us find the maximum tension. We know that the maximum tension occurs at the supports. We know the formula to find it. Root of VA square plus H square. We have found VA and H. Let us apply them. Finally, for the maximum tension, we have got 3231.1 kN. Now, let us find the minimum tension. We know that the minimum tension occurs in the point C because it is the lowest point and the minimum tension is the horizontal thrust itself. We know that it is 3000 kN. Now let us find the length of the cable. We know the formula to find the length of the cable that is S. L plus 8H square upon 3L. Here L is 80 and H is 8. Finally for the length of the cable S yes, we will get 82.13 meter. Now let us do the remaining part. If the cable is supported by saddles which are stayed by wires inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal. Determine the forces acting on the towers. We know that there will be two towers, one in the point A and one in the point B. Also, we know that this cable is symmetrical. So, the forces in both of the towers will be same. So, I am going to take only the point A and find the forces. In the previous video, we have seen how to find the forces if there is saddle or roller support. This angle is given as 30. 
the total angle is 90 so 90 minus 30 we will get alpha which will be 60 we know that T1 is the tension in the anchor cable and T2 is the tension in the suspension cable we know that in the saddle or roller support there will be no horizontal force so the horizontal force on the left side should be equal to the horizontal force on the right side we have seen that in the previous video and the horizontal forces should be equal to the horizontal thrust H let us take these two alpha is 60 let us apply that and the horizontal thrust H is 3000 let us apply that also in this way we can find T1 which is 3464.1 kN now let us find the vertical force in the top of the tower that is Vt we have derived this formula in the previous video we know T1 let us apply that V is the vertical component in the point A that is VA which is 1200 let us apply that finally for Vt we are getting this now let us do the last part in the question if the same inclination of backstay passes over pulley determine the forces on the towers height of the tower is 10 meter we have just seen in the question in the pulley support also there is the same inclination so we will have the same angle alpha 60 we know that if there is a pulley support the tension in the anchor cable and the tension in the suspension cable should be same we know that tension T is the tension in the point A which is 3231.1 kN V is the vertical component in the point A that is the vertical reaction which is 1200 kN also we know the horizontal thrust which is 3000 kN using this formula we can find the vertical force on the top of the tower and using this formula we can find the horizontal force on the top of the tower the height of the tower is given in the question 10 meter now we can find the bending moment at the base of the tower the formula is ht into h just before we have found ht and the height of the tower is 10 finally we are getting this moment now we are going to end this session Thank you for watching this video.